Today, I am showing you how to create a simple equipment tag using More Plastics Universal Marking Software. The customer I am creating this tag for is currently buying pre-engraved labels and attaching the values in the empty fields with transparent sticky labels. Obviously, this is not an ideal solution and they are looking into switching to our solution, allowing them to engrave the equipment tags in-house. Let's get started. After opening the universal marking software on your computer, click on Custom Material Designer. In the Custom Material Designer, you can create your own labels that can be printed on or engraved with any more plastic printing devices. Next, enter the wind type of the labels you want to use for your equipment tags. In this case, I picked wind type L8E which is a 120 by 120 millimeter black anodized aluminum tag. It is non-adhesive and has four rivet holes, which will allow the customer to easily attach the tag to their equipment. Before starting to work on the design of my labels, I like to activate the grip in the view panel up top. The customer gave me a list of the fields that should be included on the equipment tags. I am starting with all the text fields first. Text fields should contain the values that you do not wish to ever change. I like to change the size of any fields using the dimensions panel up top. This way I can be sure that all my fields are exactly the same size. The font type and size can be changed in a text format panel. Since this tag will be engraved with our LM series, I like to use font type Arial for best print results. The easiest way to add multiple text fields with the same dimensions is to copy and paste them with the keyboard shortcuts Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Once all text fields are positioned exactly where you want them to be, in the correct size, add the entry fields to the tag. Entry fields contain values that you will change with every print. The easiest way is to use the multi-field option in the entry field menu. This ensures that all your entry fields are the exact same size and orientation. Also, the placement on your label is done automatically. Once the entry fields are added to your tag, make sure they are positioned correctly. You can change the font type and size in the text format panel if needed. Lastly, I want to add frames around my entry fields for a cleaner look. Click on the Rectangle tool in the Drawing Tool panel. Size and position it with the help of the Dimensions panel. And then again copy and paste as many as you want using keyboard shortcuts. Once your design is ready, make sure you assign a new type name and then save it to your parameter database for later usage. My simple equipment tag is ready now. If you want a more elaborate one, you can add graphics, QR codes, or additional information to the label. Let's see how it looks printed. Open a new project and fill the entry fields with your values. You can go to the next entry field using the hash sign. Once you are done, hit print 